Hey guys, it's Nina, back with another tutorial here. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do custom overrides for animations. First, we're going to need to get some animations. I have some here that I have myself, but you can also get some from our Discord here, the Lolly Army. Uh, let's see, under the animation tab right here. Pinned, there'll be a lot of animations you can use. Uh, I've got m most of them here, so we don't need to download them. But once you finish downloading them, you basically put them in your folder here and they're ready to go. We just need to drop and drag the ones we want. Like, uh, let's see. Let's use the dab one. Let's use anime salute. Anime run fast. And let's use the made idle animation right here. Okay. So now that we have them in here, first we're going to need to go to the VRSDK file. And follow my steps here. Go into examples. Sample as. And then animations. And here. We have what we need. This file right here, the custom override, this is what we need. You're going to want to do Control D to copy it. And here you've made a duplicate. This is what we're going to put the custom override animations into. Uh, you're more than welcome to rename it to whatever you want. Uh, baked in. We'll leave it as that. Now we take this file, put it into the assets. Here we have it. Right here. Okay, now, in here, we can put the animations we want in. But bear in mind that each animation you put, like anime salute, so on, will replace an emote that's originally there. So, put an anime salute into one, will replace wave. Uh, put in dab in, will replace... I don't remember what that will replace, but it's one of the emotes. Uh, now for the uh, idle animations, you put those into this here, the idle tab. Pick it up, drop and drag, boom. You'll have a, a, a made post for animation. And anime run, I believe this is the Naruto run. Um, let's, this is a way of checking, like, you know, it, what, what it's going to look like. Uh, there is a way to see what it would look like on your character by taking the model here, dropping and dragging it into here, and then clicking back on the file, uh, let's see, anime run, taking this, plopping it into here, it replaces the standard model, and pressing the play button, you'll see what it looks like. Same with any other animation, like the made one, now your cat will be there, you'll get to see what it looks like when it's idle. And you get to see the anime salute. You can test to see if you like the animations before you put them in. Now, once these are put in... Oh, wait, no, hang on. I need to do one more thing. The anime run. This goes into run forward. Or sprint forward, depending on what you want to do. I put it in run forward. So when you automatically run, you'll have an anime run like Naruto. Uh, next, you basically just need to select your character here. And add a descriptor and you're going to want to put it in custom standing arms the baked in file or whatever you decide to call it pick it up drop and drag there it is just place them into here and now you can go into animations here like you can select the controller uh, let's select baked in and in here, you can test like the animations to see what they're going to look like. So if we press play, this is going to be your idle animation for like standing still. Yeah, and you can click the drop down bar by here for anime run faster. And it will show you as well. So you can check and see if everything is working correctly. And that's more or less it guys. You just upload it and you'll have all these uh, set in use uh, the maid will come in when you're like afk and just standing still um the anime the anime run will automatically kick in when you 
start running. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help with anything else, let me know. Uh, the next tutorial I'm going to be doing is going to be about adding weapons into the game and maybe sounds if you guys want that. Alright guys, I uh, hope this has been helpful. Uh, catch you in the next one.